Hi, welcome to Pictures, Noise and Words. I'm Hedgy. And I'm Paz. And this is Sue from Galnarius, um, who's done a solo album, it seems. It's just come out recently. Um, he's got a guest people on the album, this particular song uh, called Reason, as far as I can tell. I'm pretty sure it's called Reason. Has got Fuki on. Unlucky Morpheus. From Unlucky Morpheus and 17 other bands. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Dollbox, so. uh, Fuki Commune, um, and another one. Can't I all sorts. Lightbringer. Yeah. Oh, light, yeah. yeah. So, yeah. I don't, how does she have time in the day to do, to like, actually have a life, do you think? Do you think she just moves from like recording yeah. session to recording yeah. session? Or yeah. video uh, shoot to video yeah. shoot? So Galnarius, yes, we we both know him. Yeah, Sue's a fantastic guitar player, fantastic vocal vocalist as well. Oh, is he? So, oh, well, you mean she? she is. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> so I mean, he was a guitar player and a vocalist. So this is this is the coming together of two great talents. So it'll be interesting to see what we get. Yeah, and and I've had requests for this, um, so I put it straight into my bookmarks. It's just the way these things are recorded and released might seem a long time between when you asked and when I did it um, but yeah there's always a delay but no, knowing the back catalogue of these two performers well, I'm expecting a hundred miles, miles an hour a hundred <laughs> about a thousand miles an hour with a, a three minute solo that's just going to blow our minds and, and a vocal melody that's just so sharp it's going to cut glass so sharp it's going to cut glass okay then that is sharp <laughs> <laughs> let's find out looking forward to this I must admit and I, it's been very difficult for me to not not watch the damn thing
you know, I'm Boink. <laughs> so glad that Fuki loves metal. <laughs> she could be wasted in some drab pop act. <laughs> but yeah. here she yeah. she can just really express herself and really hear those high notes. Yeah, she's tremendous. For the whole thing was tremendous, really, wasn't it? Yes. <laughs> I guess, you know, if you're a famous guitar player and you put out a solo album, you better put some pretty good guitar bits in. <laughs> you know, because a lot of people are buying it purely somebody's for picking, that somebody's reason. picking is quite clean. It reminds me of, uh, um, not in style-wise, but um, Jeff Waters, his picking is very clean and his suit is very The clean. Annihilator yeah, guy. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, it's good to use his little finger. <laughs> so he's getting the hang of it. <laughs> Yeah, that was, that, was, that was great. But, and they delivered what we were expecting. Is that a Absolutely. good thing or a bad thing? That's a great thing, really, isn't it? It's a, it's a good thing. It, it only becomes a bad thing when a band refuses to evolve or whatever, and you just like get the same thing time after time after time. But in this case, you're getting what what you what you should get, which is you know you he's the guitarist from Galnerius, for heaven's sake. So you, you know you, you you want some of that Galnerius magic that that mm. to be, and you know ta-da there it is even when in the last uh, I don't know quarter let's say it had, it had that the um, sort of melody that makes it a bit epic mm. that kind of made you want to go <laughs> like this you know and if, if you compare one of the videos you recently did is it by Rhapsody yeah of Fire, Rhapsody of Fire it? something to do with um, not rain because that if was you, if anyway you compare the two because they they sit in the same genre ish yep this still has the same four chord power metal shenanigans going on because you can hear it in the background but there's so much else so much more going on with the guitar playing in the say the melody comes in that makes it sound more epic it just seems more energy to... yeah maybe, maybe, maybe because there's more there's more stuff there <laughs> it's not stuff, it's, eh? it, it's, it's not just it's not just four chords it's four chords I think we actually said this we've said this Did before we? but I think we actually said this in the in that um, Rhapsody of Fire video I think we said this is lacking something that the Japanese bring have brought to metal I think we said that I'm not certain but we've certainly said it before and I've certainly said it on uh, on my own that the Japanese is a very exciting um, music industry they have there because it is different to everywhere else and they've taken the genres from everywhere else and f tweaked them a little and made them brought something fresh to it which is which is what everyone's always looking for you you can't help but go oh this is different and this is this in, in a good way you know <laughs> sorts of things that are different in a bad way and I think and that's what you're hearing it's that it's that whatever it is and i wish i could you know if i obviously if i could bottle it i'd be a millionaire but they, there's something about that the, the music industry in japan and the culture and everything and all of those influences all mixed together that just gets put into a genre like whether it's you know we've seen death metal japanese bands and we've seen you know, um, well, all the different genres, and this particular case, they, they seem to do power metal really, really well, and they but somehow don't fall into that European power metal trap mm. of everything sounding. You know, you can kind of you hear a European power metal band, and you kind of go, "Oh yeah, I know what I'm getting here." Mm. But the Japanese have kind of, I think, because of all those influences, they they just change it enough to make it exciting and interesting. And I mean, that was, how long was that? That was five and a half minutes. <laughs> it felt like three because it, it was just. Yeah, they throw so much into yeah. it. Yeah. And that, so that, that Rhapsody, I'm only quoting Rhapsody Rhapsody because it was we recently done it. And it's, you know, great. This is a good example to compare, contrast. Is I listen to Rhapsody, I think, yeah, that wasn't too bad. And I listen to this, and it just gets, gets me pumped up. Yeah, yeah. Wow, it's really full of energy. And I'm not saying that everything that isn't Japanese is boring, because there are some really good bands doing this sort of stuff that are not Japanese. But but the, but there's so much good stuff coming out of Japan. Um, but plus, I think you have to acknowledge that uh, there is slightly different. It's not everyone's cup of tea. Some people say, "Oh, there's too many notes in yeah. it." 
well, it's too busy. It's pe- too... People will dislike it for exactly the same reason that yeah. we like it. Yeah. So. And people won't like, don't like that Japanese style of singing, which has mm. got this vibrato, you know, yeah. which is very. She's got. I, very, I, I have to. I, I do struggle with some yep. Japanese singers, usually male, when it's a little, when it's a little bit deeper. The first Galneri singer, I struggled with him, but the new one is more high pitched. I, I, I think he's right. great. I can't remember his name. Uh, Fuki's great. Uh, that the higher pitch stuff is, is sounds much better for me, anyway. Yeah. So yeah, I mean, the, I don't know what I'm going to call this video yet. Obviously, you people watching already know because you've seen it. But it the, the song's called S- "You from Galnerius." You know, it's like just in case you don't know who I am, kind of thing. I'm actually in the title. This is who I am, and I guess vocal by Fu- by Fuki. So I haven't got a, a band name to put in the title. It's going to be a bit. A bit odd. Um, hey ho! I, I suspect everyone knowing this, watching this rather, already knows it. Um, apart from the, the the regulars that watch everything, who I am always in, indebted to. <laughs> yeah. So loved it. Kind of knew I would. <laughs> um, I, you know, I love Galnerius. Fuki's yeah, a, a huge talent. You stick them together, it wasn't going to come out <laughs> terrible, was it? It wasn't going to happen. Um, I don't, I don't. I mean, he's done lots of uh, collaborations on this album, but uh, it'd be interesting to hear what. But I don't know who they all are. That's the problem. So, um, guest musicians, yeah. Haruka from Tears of Tragedy. Yep. Some Japanese Some name. Kanji from characters Nova. from somewhere else. Um, Kane live from the moon. Oh, that looks interesting. That might have to. I have to go in the book. That I think. Mm. My book's underneath my jacket. So. Get out later. It's magic book. book. Yes. Let us know what you think. Um, hopefully you enjoyed it, uh, and if you didn't, then hopefully it was for rational reasons. Um, yeah, sorry, I didn't mention that the album's called Volvados, which I have no idea if that me- even means anything. But um, just I'll throw that in there at the end. Thanks for watching. See you now. Bye.